The Society for Naval Architects and Engineering is in the Ocean State for their annual meeting, which pits students against each other in engineering aspects. And joining us to say is Mark Groden. He is the Student Steering Committee Chairman. Good morning. Thanks for coming in today. Good morning. Thank you for having All me. All right. We use the uh, the acronym of uh, of SNA a SNAME to get through that whole thing of the title. Explain to everybody what it is. Well, SNAMI, or, or we call it SNAMI, is the Society of Naval Architects and Marine Engineers. And it was established in 1893 in order to advance the art, science, and practice of naval architects and marine engineers. So basically, you are the guys who are designing not just naval ships, but also um, ships that will transport different goods throughout the world? That's absolutely right. All that stuff? Yes. Okay. Yes. Explain to everyone what we have here. When I, this isn't like a Martha Stewart segment or anything else. This is serious science. Mm -hmm. It really is. Uh, the principles to design this, this cardboard vessel here from the household materials are the same principles that we use to design, design larger ships, uh, such as actually the Costa Concordia, which this competition is based off of this year. And how long does it take to actually put this together? Because there, it's not, for us, looking at home, you know, watching at home, it looks like some cardboard and stuff. There's science involved in this. There's uh, engineering involved in this to make these ships actually go through the water faster, quicker, and be safer. Absolutely, yes. Uh, there's a lot of hydrodynamics that has to be considered. And uh, as you can see on the bow of the vessel, a lot of fairing has taken place here. And it looks relatively simple, but a lot of the decisions here in order to make the angles and everything else just right so that you have the right trim, which is the angling, like mm -hmm. fore and aft, and then heel, roll, if you will. Uh, is critical to the vessel's operation. Tell everyone what goes on at this annual meeting because the meeting is going to happen at the Westin, correct? That's correct, yes. Uh, the annual meeting is really a, a way to gather uh, everyone from our industry, present technical papers and network and, and progress uh, the industry forward. You are a bunch of smart people, very smart people <laughs> who really know their stuff. All right, we have a demonstration set up, yes, so we do. you're going to explain to us, walk us through what we actually need to build and how the uh, ship is actually going to move through the water, correct? Sure, yes. Uh, so. As you can see here, all the materials used to build the ship here are, are from household. Uh, just various things. Really, the only critical component is making sure that the cardboard is completely wrapped in tape. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you get uh, soggy cardboard. Right, Doesn't which you don't want. Well. Right. No, absolutely. <laughs> uh, and the tow line device here is what we use to propel the vessel. So there's no propulsion on board, no sail. You have a falling weight, and the falling weight uh, drives the pulley, and the pulley pulls the string, which pulls the vessel across the pool. All right, let's go. We'll hook this up. How long did it take for you guys to come up with the concept, come up with the design, and actually get to where we are today? Several hundred hours. Several hundred hours, really? Yes, uh, two years. And has this been something you've always been interested in? Uh, naval architecture and marine engineering, absolutely, okay. yes. Um, also explain to everyone, you just put a uh, plastic, the water bottle in there, what's that gonna do? The water bottle is a cargo, so that represents anything from passengers to oil and, and other cargoes of that nature that a ship would carry. All right, and tell everyone how this is actually going to propel itself through the water. So the string that's attached to the front of the vessel with the paper clip is uh, linked to the falling mass on the mm -hmm. other end here. And as I let go of the vessel, the falling weight is going to go down and it's going to pull the, the ship across the, the pool here. All right, here we go. Look at that. Just like that. And that moves it through the water. That All does. right, perfect, guys. Thanks so much for coming in. It's great to have you here today. And if you would like more information about this, you can head to our website, WPRI.com.